Hey YouTubers, Shell Sullivan here. Welcome back to my channel. You may have seen my nitrocellulose powered shoulder mounted rocket launcher. Now the core component of that is what I call the side loading combustion chamber. It looks like this. This part here. And here's where the voltage is supplied. Now the rocket launcher runs off of two 9 volt batteries, but while I was mocking this up and testing it, I was uh, shooting a lot of um, model rockets, homemade model rockets off. I built me a 12 volt, two 6 volt batteries combined in series to make a 12 volt rocket launcher. These two wires here, a button here, and I didn't build, I didn't build a box for it or anything. I just basically just kind of glued everything together. And that lasted for a long time, but those batteries have finally died. And it's time to rebuild that. So I'm going to be testing some more rocket launch designs. I'm going to be doing some more testing with different versions of this Maybe possibly a reinforced version of this, or maybe even a metal version of this. Something that would be much stronger, so that I can shoot uh, more robust projectiles, as opposed to just a cardboard tube rockets. But I did want to reproduce that build again, so I'll have another 12 volt ignition system. So basically I take these two 6 volt batteries, run them in series to, for 12 volts, that I can use these alligator clips to apply to whatever I want to. It works great on those Estes rocket igniters. It works great on my homemade igniters. It works great on um, my nichrome wire, which is used to heat up the, the gun cotton. That's what triggers it in my rocket launcher. This also works great for igniting the steel wool based sugar rocket formula fuse that I make. A video coming for that soon. But tonight I'm just going to reproduce that previous design which I don't have a video on. So uh, like I said, I'm not going to be making a box or anything. We're just going to glue everything together as is. We'll start by, let's just attach these two batteries together. This will be a good first start. Let's do them like this. Now, while that's drying, let me explain to you the simple series circuit that we're going to build. It's not complicated. And though I'm going to be doing some soldering, you don't have to solder this. You could basically electrical tape most of this stuff together. But it's going to be very, very simple design. We're going to create one big giant um, series circuit. I've got two batteries, both with negative and positives. So in order to run these in series, first I'm going to need to connect the positive from one to the negative from another. And we're going to do that with a wire like that. The first build, I just had just a push button on off switch. This design I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to a, a safety and an arming switch. Still not a complicated design, it's all going to be still a very simple series circuit. Once the positive from one battery is connected to the negative of another, another battery, then I'll have 12 volts over these terminals. Both of these switches are very simple. They're only two wire switches. And basically I'm going to come out of one into the other. So now these two switches are in series. We can connect one leg of that there. So now my series continues. The pixies will flow this way. Now um, while that's in the off position, we won't get any current through the switch. That will allow it to pass to the momentary switch which will close the circuit. From the leg of this switch we're going to connect the red wire which is this one because that's the positive side out. And then complete the circuit all the way over here by connecting the black end alligator to the negative terminal. So once this simple circuit is completed and the switch here is in the off position I won't get any current, no matter if I press this or not. That's the safety position. I switch that to on. Now this will be armed. It'll be ready to apply 12 volts across these two terminals when this momentary switch is pressed, completing the series circuit. Very simple design. 
I'm going to use this piece of wire to run these batteries in series from the positive of one battery to the negative of the other battery. These batteries have this little springy top at the end and I can kind of pinch the wire in there to hold it in place until I get the solder there. This is speaker wire. It's just some wire I had a pretty good length of, so it works pretty good. Okay, my negative wire has the writing on it. And that's speaker wire will typically be blank on one side and writing on the other side of the wire. So writing is negative. So we'll make sure that we find the other end of that wire. Yep, with the writing on it, and that goes to the negative terminal. Get a flux on that wire so it flows nicely. Now these switches don't have a polarity, so they're, they're fine. It doesn't matter which side. <clears throat> All right, we got our solder points done. Okay, let's continue this circuit to the momentary switch. And since this screw was going around in this direction, I like to hook the wire around so it'll flow with the direction that you're tightening, tightening the screw. So if you hook the wire like that and fit it over so that it follows the way you're turning it. See, if I put it this way, as I turn the screw, it's going to pull the wire out. But since I've got it this way, it's actually going to pull the wire in tight. Nice and tight. And let's close the circuit. Just make sure that's in the off position. All right, now my circuit's complete, and I should have, when this is in the off position, pulling the switch should do nothing. When this is in the on position, pushing the switch should apply 12 volts across these alligator clips. So now it's perfect time for testing. And one of the things I'm going to be using this for is to use nichrome wire. This piece of wire here comes from the hair dryer. This is the part of the hair dryer that heats up when current is applied. It's very thin, very strong, very high resistance wire. So I'm going to pull off a piece of uh, wire here. It's about an inch long. Off. Nothing. On. Ooh. Oh yeah. Zing. Zing. Perfect. See it get red hot? <laughs> you know I'd have a bit of this ready for testing. Got some of my nitrocellulose. Test it with some nitrocellulose here. And off. Nothing. Safety. Safety. On. <laughs> yeah. It cools down fast too, which is nice. So immediately I can go back with another piece and not worry about it exploding when I touch it. Oof. <laughs> it never gets old. I love it. And three, two, one. So there we go. Now, it can be done here. This is good enough. We can just like hot glue this here and hot glue this there and that would be good enough. But I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to make me just a little something on top so I can get the buttons. And yeah, something just to look just a bit cooler than this. So let's see what I can come up with. Be nice if I had a shallower switch. I need something that I can glue in here as spacers. If I cut inch and a quarter pieces off that, it'll make these little tubes a riser. I'll cut these and I'll be right back. Let's 
secured my wire from accidentally being pulled loose from its connectors by this tie wrap that's glued to the top of the battery. So now I'm in business. I've got uh, safe, armed, I deliver 12 volts here, and uh, I've uh, glued everything together again. Let's do another test. Let's do two tests. This is my steel wool based sugar rocket fuse. And it should work as an electric igniter as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how that works. Let's take a piece of this off. And we're going to kind of cut into the back end of one. Split it open and expose the steel wool. Now, when I get a little current through that steel wool, it should ignite. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Awesome. Now that's going to work for uh, launching rockets or remotely launching fireworks or any other kind of thing there. This steel wool fuse. Like I said, well, let's do one more demonstration. We'll take, uh, we'll do is we take the back end of that, we'll kind of untwist it a little bit, and we'll make a split. Connect those two splits up to my to my 12 volt. Armed, I mean safe, armed. Ah, beautiful. Hope you liked that video. If you did, give me a big fat thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you think a friend might like to see it, then please share it. Comments, questions, suggestions, they go down below. And subscribe to my channel. I don't know if you think I've earned it. <laughs>